Hello and welcome to Park High School Bulletin on Thursday the 13th of March. I'm Daniel. Here are our headlines. Glad Gladiators make a comeback. The late TV show Gladiators is coming back to our screens once again in May. School's out. We talk about grain chill changing from BBC to CBBC. Gunman guilty. A gunman has been found guilty of two attempted murders. Now to Tilly with our first story. My parents are always saying how programmes have changed. Well, a programme that hit our screens eight years ago is making a comeback. Gladiators. Yes, you hear right, Gladiators. The much-loved programme that saw super strong athletes putting members of the public through their paces in a series of bizarre strength and endurance tests is making a comeback on Sky One in May with a big show and even bigger muscles. And now over to Alex and Reese with more on the Grange Hill story. The BBC is axing one of the longest running children programmes at Grange Hill. The series began 30 years ago and has featured tough storylines about social issues like drugs and teenage pregnancy. Park High pupils were lucky enough to get an exclusive peek behind the scenes. Little did we know we'd be the last to visit the set before they shut the gates for good. Here's our report. Hello, I'm Alicia and we're from Park High Sports College of Birkenhead. Hey! We've been given exclusive access to celebrate the 30th year of the BBC drama Grange Hill. Grange Hill was first shown on BBC One in 1978 and is one of the longest running drama programmes on television. It's all really quite painless. Back then, it followed the adventures of Tucker Jenkins and his mates in a fictional school based in North London. A dramatic storyline saw the school set on fire and Green Hill moved from London to Liverpool. Try to put that young girl's eye out, were you? Were you born stupid? Our parents watched it, now we're watching it. Who's your favourite character? I'm um, probably Tanya because she's so loud and. She doesn't really care what other people think about it. Just Toggy, your favourite character? Yeah. Why? Because he just, he, he's just like a normal person in school. He's not like he's not like just the normal person. He just shows out what it's like to be in school. Action! Oh, you say, sell a dodger, no? There's a new theme tune, and the storylines are being written to accommodate a younger audience now that the drama secured a place on CBBC as well as BBC One. Are you working on any storylines reflecting guns and knives in school? Well, I don't think so because this year we've tried to aim it at a, a younger audience of like, is it maybe about 8 to 12 or something like that. Teenage gunman has been found guilty of the attempted murder of two brothers in a revenge attack. Lee Jameson, age 19, used a handgun to try and kill the two brothers because he had never forgotten that they had reported him to the police a few years ago. After he was released, Jameson began to harass the pair. Jameson had said that it was a case of mistaken identity and that it wasn't him who shot the brothers. And now over to Connor for, for news of a possible breakthrough for diabetes. Type 1 diabetes starts in children and is caused by your body not making a, making a hormone called insulin. If this is not treated quickly, it can cause a dangerous amount of weight loss. Children who took vitamin D supplements were around 30% less likely to develop the condition than those who did not. Researchers at St Mary's Hospital in Manchester say the higher and more regular the dose, the lower the likelihood of developing the disease. And now over to Alicia for that international story. The EU is desperately attempting to cut down on the amount of greenhouse gases created in Europe. The burning of fossil fuels such as coal and oil the cutting down of trees and not replacing them all adds to the global warming. The change affects animals as well. The climate is changing rapidly. Animals such as polar bears cannot adapt as the ice caps are melting, leaving less ground for them. The EU's foreign policy chief, Chief Via, will be writing a report to the leaders of the world to, make, to help make a difference. And over to Reese with a special sport report. Me and Scott interviewed Amir Khan on the 28th of February at Park High School. Amir Khan was in the school to pick up a cheque for £644, which was raised by pupils and staff 
taking part in an annual Santa Dash for the NSPCC charity, which Amia is the ambassador for. Welterweight champion John H. Tracy also came in to support Amia and to be interview interviewed as well. And now to Tilly. Pupils and staff from Park High School are taking part in the race, which you can run, walk or even jog. Our local races at the waterfront in Liverpool, but it's taking place all over the UK. Anyone can take part in Sport Relief, and celebrities are doing their part as well. Comic Relief spends money raised through Sport Relief to help vulnerable people living difficult lives. Over to Josie with our and family story. Show me the way to go home. Two whales were stranded on a beach in New Zealand. Conservation officer Malcolm Smith and his team tried to help them, but decided to give up after an hour and a half. Luckily, Moko, a bottlenose dolphin, came to the rescue and communicated with the whales, then showed them the way home. That's all from us at Park High School. Goodbye.